Hey, welcome to Titan Up Today. It's your boy CD back again with you for round two, bringing you Titans Bills Week 5 wrap up. Tonight, we're going to discuss my point of view of the game, give you some low lights, some highlights, and more low lights. And eventually, we'll talk about that kicker that we got, um, Cairo Santos. But um, no need to delay. Let's get it. All right, so let's start off today's episode the same way the Titans started off yesterday's game with penalties. Tell me how the very first snap, the very first play from scrimmage, we have a deep throw, 20 plus yards to Delaney Walker down the left sideline, gorgeous play action pass, gets called back for a holding. But no, wait, we're not done there. The very next play, we get a false start. What is going on? We start off the first series. And on our own 10-yard line, first to 25, and surprisingly so, we end up having to punt. It's crazy to even believe that. I mean, we ended up with eight penalties for 60 yards, but it, there's really no excuse. There's, there's a lack of discipline. We felt that. I felt it as I was watching the game, but there's only there's so much you can deal with. Speaking of the O-line, though, um, Taylor Lewan, as we discussed last episode, welcome back. That's great. I wasn't 100% sure that he was going to come back and be the all-pro that we know him to be. That being said, the first part of the season, I'm sorry, the first part of the game, it didn't come off that way, um, even the first half. Too many sacks, to say the least, but just in general, like he seemed a little bit off. But nonetheless, running the ball behind that offensive line, Derrick Henry did his thing. We got him the ball. I said, did his thing. I'll come off of that. We got him the ball 20 times. We did our job. From the OC's perspective, 20 carries to Derrick Henry should equate to something. It did not. We got seven, I'm sorry, 78 yards off of him. That being said, that comes out to about 3.9 yards per carry before his average was 4.1. So it's not, he's not really giving us anything back, um, anything more like he was last year um, thus far. So huh, Mariota, I would say looking at it in the run game, I would hope that Mariota would be able to put a little bit more energy into the play, not the play call itself, but whenever he's coming up to the line. I'm watching the game like as, as I watch every snap, and I'm looking, and I can almost tell you every time, like clockwork, oh, it's about to be a, a pass play. Oh, it's about to be a run play. And the first thing that comes to my mind is, why is Mariota not selling it? I don't know. Look off to the left, look off to the right, whatever. Give off a fake signal, something to let the defense know that, hey, I might be passing the ball here. But as soon as he comes up to the line, he's like, all right, I'm done with this play. Let me go ahead and hand it off to the guy behind me. And then he just hands it off, and then just like that, we're stuck um, in the backfield. He's got to do a little bit better than that. I don't know exactly what it is. If it's finishing off his runs or finishing off the play, hand the ball off and then roll out or something to make it look like, hey, maybe he doesn't have the ball and um, maybe I have the ball, Mariota. But uh, I don't know. And based off of Mariota in general, the passing game was, um, I would say, average for the season, about 186 yards, whatever passing. Oh, I'm sorry, 183 yards, I believe he had passing, 13 for 22 um, on the on the game, I'd like to see a little bit better from him. That being said, the drops, there's a lot of stuff that came up, whatever, that just did not help um, his case. I would say that Mariota didn't make any like careless mistakes, no interceptions thrown again, no fumbles again, still holding that zero turnovers. But at the same time, there was no aggression. So was, he's being careless. I'm sorry, not careless. He's being very cautious, and it actually – flips on the other side where he's no longer being able to be aggressive down the field. This game, I know that it was a Buffalo Bills defense that was tough, especially the back The back secondary is extremely tough for him, but I would like to see some shots. There was one pass that he threw off to Corey Davis that was high. So, oh, I'm sorry, it wasn't high. He tried to throw it over the top. It was low. I, I wish that he would have given him a, given him a better ball to, to make a play on, but that's the, that's the most that he was out of. Um, a cautious realm at that point but no interception still so that's good but again too many drops Davis and Brown they didn't seem like they were open for most of the game I would have liked to see AJ get open and, and make those make those catches across the middle and then be able to break a couple tackles never happened not even a little bit um, hump he caught four balls 
that's great. He wasn't even our leading receiver um, with those four passes. And then don't forget the drop that he had on third down. Um, we had three drops on third down out of five. Three of them were on third down. We had Delaney dropping balls. Deion Lewis, literally a specialty back, third down type back. Your job is to block, pass block whenever we need, and catch the ball out of the backfield. And he's dropping the ball as well. Um, too much to handle. But I would say, I don't know, too many too many balls dropped for sure. Um, also, um, A.J. Brown, that, that play to A.J. Brown, Mariota, scrambling, I don't know how he even got loose, gets loose, whatever goes, and I'm running, I'm like, oh, he's going to run? No, 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 last second, I'm going to throw it. Great idea, except you had about that much room to spare, and he was over the line. I still believe, as a, as watching as a fan, that he was over the line, across the line. I would have liked to see them allow the play go, make the booth overturn it, and I think maybe they wouldn't have overturned it, but again, not 100% sure by any means. Um, the leading receiver, Jonu Smith. Jonu Smith. He had one catch for 57 yards on a screenplay. Don't get me wrong, it was a gorgeous screenplay. And going back to my last episode, I talked about the screen, how it was trash the past two or three weeks. Finally, it comes back. That's great. Um, but that was the bulk of Mariota's passing yards as well. So, I don't know. It's, 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 it's kind of hard to even to get behind the wide receiver core in this game, even a little bit. They didn't help out Mariota, but of course Mariota will get the blame um, on the passing game being subpar. But the defense, that's always good. Um, they did what they're supposed to do. I will say this, though. There's a saying, right? You hear it. People say, defense wins championships. Well, I guess that's just championships because they don't win regular season games. Not for the Titans. Not right now. Um Four for 13 third downs against the um, against the Bills. Perfect. Um, I would say, I mean, not perfect, of course, whatever, but you're like 33% or less. That's pretty good for a conversion rate. Um, another fourth down stop. They wrapped up Josh Allen, which was significant. I talked about that again. We didn't want to have another Jacoby Brissett incident where he's just running around. We had Rashad Evans was on him, a spy. It seemed like it was assignment in all pass coverage was to watch him. He actually got a good hit on him. Um, didn't even see it coming or whatever. It, it was it was pretty good. All the all the all in all, as a defense, um, solid. Solid performance. Um, we got that interception. I called that as well. Bayer put his hands on that, got it down. But the team, the defensive squad gives up 14 points. And from where I'm from and my my, my football knowledge, 14 points is the that's the recipe for success. If my defense gives up 14 points, we're going to score at least 17 points on offense. And we scored seven. I forgot the team on the end. But um, now, for what we all been waiting for, watch this. Comes up. Um, get an eyeball. Look. Looks good. All right. Whew. Feeling good. Good snap, good hold, and shank it to the left. All right, no worries. I mean, walk it off. Get another attempt here. All right, this one's 36. Last one, 50. It's a little bit longer. Let's get a little bit easier now. All right, look at it again. Feeling good. Whew. Snap, hold, and shake it to the right. So we shake it to the left, and then we shake it to the right. All right, let's give him a little bit, a little bit easier. It says 32, but it's actually 33. Huh, Mariota's looking at him, thinking about it. Got his back. No worries. Line it up. Give you a different angle this time. Good snap. Good hold. And what? Is that a knuckleball? I think it was blocked. It was not blocked. It's the first ever knuckleball kick, and Mariota's trying to. Go console him, but he himself looks like he needs to be consoled. All right. No worries, Cairo. You make this 53-yarder, and we'll forgive you for all the other ones. This is the longest one by far. Good snap. Oh, my God. Never had a chance. Sheesh. Okay. So, nobody's perfect. I got it. He's an NFL player, but still can make mistakes. I got it. I got it. 0 for 4? No. 
I'll give you three for four. I'll give you three for four. We had a 52-yarder, I'm sorry, a 50-yarder, a 36-yarder, a 33-yarder, and then a 53-yarder. The 50s, we'll even, we'll wash them. I need one of those. You're in the NFL, I need you to at least make a 50-yarder, if not the 53-yarder, one of them you got to bring home. But the 30-somethings, those are chip shots. Those aren't even questions. Those are put in right between the posts, and we're not even thinking about that. That's nine points left. I believe we lost the game by seven. Even if he makes, even if he only makes two of them and we're down by one and we're driving at the end, we're driving for a field goal. It's a different mindset. Everything changes. Pressure on the defense on the Buffalo Bills side. We couldn't even get that. That being said, I'm not going to blast Cairo Santos right now. Not my, not my thing. But that being said, I really believe that a three-legged dog could have made zero out of four kicks and that's exactly what we got so we'll leave it at that adam humphreys let's round that off muff punt brett kern love you to death brett you're i think by far the best punter in the league but he was one for six on putting balls inside the 20 on the game i think in total the special teams <laughs> laid an egg and it, that didn't help either so you got great defense Horrible special teams. The offense is meh at best, and it equals seven points in a 14 to seven loss. But to wrap it all up, Titans week five at Tennessee, losing against the Bills 14 to seven. I believe that it is not all Cairo Santos' fault. It's easy. That's an easy button. We could push that button and push it all on him and say, hey, it's a bad guy and it's all his fault. I'm not going to do that. I do believe that it was a tale of four, I'm sorry, a tale of two halves for the O-line. Four sacks, horrible O-line play in the first half, and then only one sack um, in the second half. That was good. I also say that there was a slow physical game as we expected. Um, we knew that points were going to be paramount. And whenever you had the opportunity, I don't know if you if there was like a 53-yard field goal opportunity or a 50-yard field goal opportunity, maybe a, a 30. You have to get the points. And Cairo Santos did not do that. And like I said, not all on him. I think that in whole, we lost this game because of a lack of discipline, um, penalties, um, no turnovers. That, that wasn't the reason. But O-line play in general. And the special teams and the defense, the defense at the end of the game, how do you give up 57 yards rushing all game, 57 yards rushing all game. And then on the last drive, 52 yards rushing, Frank Gore, 11 yards, 11 yards, um, TJ Yeldon, 13 yards. And even that wide receiver reverse earlier in the game, that's that big play that we're talking about. It's like they just take a play off. And that was 47 yards um, wide receiver reverse that they followed up. They liked it so much they followed up with another receiver reverse on the next on the next play. It, it's like it's disrespect knowing that whenever someone's like, I don't know if we're tired or if we quit. I don't know what it is, but it's a totally different defense on that last drive. Again, 14 points. You gave up 14 points. We'll, we'll put an asterisk beside that because easily they could have kicked a field goal at the end if they needed to or – if they wanted to, they probably could have scored a touchdown the way we were looking. It's extremely soft. But actually, you know what? I'll take it all back. It was Cairo's fault. Well, this concludes episode two. If you liked it, loved it, want some more of it, go ahead and show your boy some love. Click that like button. Subscribe. Maybe even hit that bell. Get yourself some notifications the next time I do an upload. Well, until next time, I'll leave you with one question. Why tighten up tomorrow when you can tighten up today?